world of 2D gaming. You may think that games with 2D computer graphics are a thing of the past, but these cartoon-like games are making a surprise comeback. So maybe it's time to find out about the wonderful world of 2D gaming. Making 2D To create 2D video games, you need to know how to code. Learning to code is like learning to speak a new language, computer language. Computer programmers must write a series of commands that the computer can understand. They use code to create the characters and program them to interact with other objects in the game. Early 2D characters were made from just a few pixels, small squares that were combined to create a simplistic-looking character. The Early Heroes In the 1970s and 1980s, there were no consoles to play your favorite 2D games on in the comfort of your own home. People went to amusement arcades to play on game machines. There, they defended the Earth from aliens in the shooter game Space Invaders, or bounced around in platform games such as Donkey Kong or Mario Bros. In these games, the characters run left or right across the screen, leaping from one platform to the next. These were also the first games to have storylines. In Mario Bros, courageous plumber Mario tries to defeat creatures coming out of New York sewers. The arcade video games may seem simplistic compared to today's complex open-world adventures, but these games captured the imagination of a whole generation of gamers. 2D vs. 3D In the 1980s and 90s, programmers began developing games with 3D computer graphics. These were more realistic than games with 2D images and allowed the players more freedom to explore the virtual world. New games consoles, such as PlayStation and Xbox, used all the power of newer technology to create open-world games with immersive gameplay. 2D now seemed very old-fashioned. Games now came with tutorials to take the player through the increasingly complicated controllers and with extra downloadable content for more adventures. It seemed that the days of 2D gaming were over. Or were they? Return to 2D as smartphones became the must-have gadget for the new millennium, designers were looking for games that could be played on them. 2D games were cheaper to produce than 3D ones and didn't require as much computer memory. That meant that they were more suitable for handheld devices. In 2012, Angry Birds was the first mobile game to reach 1 billion downloads. Today, Angry Birds is so popular that it has been downloaded over 3 billion times has produced a range of toys and a film that was a box office hit. 2D games are back. Console makers have released modern versions of old 2D consoles that are sold as collector's items, and new games are still being produced. So while excellent graphics and complex gameplay are a must for any serious gamer, it seems there's still a place in their hearts for little pixelated characters who run and jump to collect gold coins.